Okay, so I've been asked to make a tiled export video for everybody, and uh, I just want to let everybody know that this is an entirely experimental feature inside of Gaia. Um, it's still something that's being worked on. There's not a lot to it currently. And you can see it right here in the build options. I'm using the latest version, by the way, for anybody who is in wanting to know why mine looks different. Um, that's why. So anyways, for applications like uh, Unreal Engine 4, there's a very specific resolution that you need to use, and you can't actually resample that using the tiled export options inside of Gaia right now. You are limited to your usual uh, squared options here, and you can't change those. Uh, there's also no blending. Uh, everything's unblended still. Uh, it only splits the files. It doesn't process them. You can flip the Y, uh, otherwise I would just leave that unchecked and have Unreal Engine do it if that's something that you need. But that's not going to really matter because currently uh, you can't resample these files for Unreal Engine during the tiled output and it won't actually work. Not, not from anything that I could find anyways. If somebody wants to correct me on that, I would be more than happy to be corrected, but for the time being you just can't. However, it is still good to know that you can do tiled outputs for other applications that support tiled outputs in your typical resolution formats. So you have your scene set up, you have your all the things that you want for your landscape marked for export, and then you choose your option. For Unreal Engine you would use RAW 16, anything else you would just use whatever it is that you prefer, so maybe PNG, 16-bit, uh, I always recommend using 16-bit for landscapes, and then go ahead and select enable tiles, and then you're only going to be left with one option here, split only, but then you can choose your resolutions. So if you wanted to export out at 8192, you could, 16K, you could. I'm going to stick with 2K, and then I'm going to choose the resolution for each individual tile. So down here, Gaia gives you kind of an explanation of what you're going to get. At 512, for a total resolution of 2048, for each individual file at 512, you're going to end up with 4x and 4y for a total of 16. That's 4 times 4, not 4 plus 4. You're going to have six, about 16 files total uh, for X and Y. If you increase it to 1K, you're going to have 2, and then obviously for 2K, you're going to have 1, but you can't actually do that. If you go lower at 1K, you're going to have 256 total individual files, 16 by 16. So to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and keep it at, uh, let's say, 512. Now I already have ex exported it. It exported everything from the deposits all the way to the where, and I don't need those. Uh, I didn't set it up properly to do that, so uh, I just got everything. But this is how it exports. Uh, it starts with X000, Y000, and then it goes, <coughs> sorry, and it goes up to three. Uh, it starts with zero, so computer lingo, zero to three would be four, and then the same thing with uh, X, all the way up, and then all the way up, so on and so forth. You get the idea. So these will be your tiles. Now, if you want to export your landscape for Unreal Engine without tile builds, you can. You have to disable tile builds, go to resample, and then choose your options here. From what I could tell, all of these resampling options are supported in Unreal Engine. I usually go with the 8129 option when I'm doing landscapes, and then this is a workaround that you can do. If you can't do a tiled build because you're working in Unreal Engine, export it out at 8192 or 8129 uh, in RAW, right there. Export it out. And then what you're going to want to do in Unreal Engine, and I'm not very good with it. Um, I use it for certain things to kind of portray what I'm trying to make. But I am by no means an expert in Unreal Engine. I, I know of a little bit and I know enough to get by. I can make things look pretty, I can make things work, but it takes me a minute because I tend to forget because I actually don't use Unreal Engine all that much. But you would import your landscape here, and then you would use the landscape move tool to make individual areas inside of your landscape for different levels that you can stream into. And that's what you can do as kind of a workaround instead of doing tiled builds. Now I know that's not perfect. Let me go ahead and resize that. There we go. I know that's not perfect, but it is a workaround uh, and it's better than nothing. So anyways, I hope that kind of explains 
what you want or what you need for anybody out there using Unreal Engine and hit me up with additional questions or concerns and I'll try to make a video for you. But uh, until then, thank you and bye.